Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity and today we are looking at Google Calendar and I want to share with you some tips and tricks to help you be more productive and efficient with Google Calendar. A few things that perhaps you haven't heard of before to help you be more effective as you manage your schedule. Now the first one has to do with quickly adding an event. You're probably already familiar with the create button here. By selecting this we get our event dialog where we can have a lot of details, make a lot of changes to that event. But what if we want to do things a bit quicker? Well directly to the right of create we have this little drop arrow and this is the quick add functionality. So here we can just type in our event uh, very much like we would in a conversation conversation. Uh, I want to add a meeting with Sam at 11 a.m. on October 9th and I can just hit enter on my keyboard or hit the add button to the right and look at that. Immediately it is placed exactly with the information that I gave it. Now of course I can always open up this event and add more details if I want later but sometimes we just want to immediately add that event without having to scroll or find the exact date on our calendar as well. So just use the quick add and you don't even have to add the date itself. You can use terms such as tomorrow or next Wednesday and Google Calendar will find the appropriate spot and create that event. Next up, let's take a look at how we can receive a daily agenda. Maybe we don't want to pop into our calendar first thing in the morning. Maybe we would like to receive a summary via email. To do so, we want to click the settings icon, the gearbox here, and then come down to settings. And the first thing we're going to want to do is select which calendar we want to receive this email agenda. So we select calendars and chances are you're probably managing more than just one calendar within Google Calendar. I'm going to come over here and select edit notifications. I'm going to select edit notifications and we have a variety of options here on this page but the one that we're looking for is near the bottom and that's the daily agenda. By selecting this checkbox I'm going to receive an email with my agenda every day at 5 a.m. in my current time zone. Now you can't change the time on when you receive this agenda but I think for most people 5 a.m. is early enough. So with this selected and don't forget to hit save when you're changing or adjusting settings here within Google Calendar. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go back to my calendar and now starting tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. I'm going to receive a nice summary, a single email with a summary of all of my events for that day. And it will also include all day events. So both all day events and then those events that have a specific time via email. Next up is a very powerful feature for giving others an opportunity to book you or to find time that is available on your calendar and it's called appointment slots. Now one note is that this is only for Google Apps customer. You must be a Google Apps customer in order to use this functionality. But let me give you an example. I provide productivity coaching and so perhaps I want to allow some 30 minute intervals or 30 minute slots for my students to sign up for their coaching appointment. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to drag my cursor for uh, this block between 12 and 5 p.m. And before I type in anything, you'll see at the top I've got two options. Event is selected by default, but I'm going to select appointment slots. So now I'm going to give this a, a name. I'm going to call it coaching. And I've already selected the time frame. I can select the calendar that I want it to be on. I'm going to select test calendar in this case. And I've got two choices down below. I can either offer this as a single appointment slot, but that's not really what I want. I want the second one here. I want to offer multiple slots of 30 minute intervals. And I can change those intervals if I like. I'm going to select create. And you'll notice it gives this a slightly different icon. It's showing me that these are appointment slots and in the parentheses it's showing me the duration of those appointment slots. Okay, so now it's on my calendar. What's the next step? Next up I'm going to click on this event and here not only can I make some changes to that event if I want to, but here I am given a unique URL. So this is what I'm going to be sharing or I can add guests directly if I want to 
via email. But let's click on this link here. By giving them this link, they get a shared view of my calendar. And I might have to scroll to the, to the date that they're looking for. But here's where I created those slots. So now you can see I've got my 30 minute intervals for coaching. So they can come in here and book which slot they would like. Let's say someone would like the 1 p.m. slot. They select it and here are the details. All they have to do is select save and that books them for that appointment. That books them for that slot. So a very powerful tool, especially if you are uh, a coach or perhaps you're providing some other service you want to give some uh, office hours to your students, perhaps, if you're an instructor. This can be a great way to offer those slots. You book the time that you're available and then allow your customers or allow your clients to book the slots that they would like to use. All right, next up, I want to show you some things in Labs, in Google Labs. Yes, most Google products have some additional functionality that you need to enable or disable uh, one by one. And these are some special features or some special powers. So once again, we're going to go back to settings. This time, we're going to click on Labs. And I want to show you two of my favorite um, lab functionality. So by default, when you open up your Google Calendar account, these will all be disabled. But the first one I want to highlight is this one. It's called Hide Morning and Night. So I'm going to select Enable. And what this lab edition does is it's going to minimize a period of time, uh, both in the morning and the night, uh, that I don't want to see. Um, I mean, for, for example, here's the question it asks you. When's the last time you had a meeting at 3 a.m.? Now, there's probably some of you watching this video that do have meetings at 3 a.m. You've got meetings with other clients or other members of your team on the other side of the world. But perhaps this is extremely rare. Perhaps you never have a meeting at that time of day. So let's enable this. Once again, don't forget to hit Save. And we're going to go back. It's going to refresh your calendar. And what has happened is that at the top, you see, and at the bottom, it has condensed uh, a certain time frame. So between 12 a.m. and 7 a.m., uh, it's not showing me anything there. And between 6 p.m. and 12 a.m., it's not showing me anything. Uh, so I, I've just got this nice condensed view. I'm not going to accidentally scroll up and see a bunch of empty space and then realize, oh, that's right. It's, you know, that's early in the morning, 2 a.m. I don't need to be looking at that. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, what if I want to change these times? Well, it's pretty easy. If you select it, if you click on it, you can see you can actually drag and change these times. So let's say I want to pull it back to uh, maybe 5 a.m. Perfect. Now 12 to 5 a.m. And back on the on the evening side, I can do the same thing. Maybe I do want to see my evening. You know, am I going out to dinner? Do I have other things I, I want to manage? So in this case, I'm going to drag this back to, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 p.m. All right, so now I still have a condensed version. I've opened it up a little bit, but I can always come back and change this. So I've got a nice condensed view by hiding both parts of my morning and parts of my evening here. The next lab I want to show you, let's go back to labs, and we've scrolled down near the bottom. We have one that's called Next Meeting. And this can be helpful if you want to know uh, at a quick glance, you know, how many minutes or how many hours before your next commitment. So again, we are going to select Enable. And don't forget to select Save. We're going to go back to our screen and now here in the right hand side we get a new view and here it's telling me I've got a Skype call coming up with my friend Tim uh, one hour and 57 minutes from now. So just a helpful reminder, maybe again, I, I'm not looking, I'm not looking at today's week. Maybe I'm not even looking at the current month. I'm planning ahead. I'm doing something else. I've got a nice convenient view here on the right hand side. I can see exactly when that next meeting, when that next event is coming up. So I hope you found these tips and tricks helpful. I hope it's helped you to make, uh, make you a little more productive and a little more efficient within Google Calendar. If you like this video, I would encourage you to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe right here to the Simpletivity YouTube channel. Remember, being productive doesn't have to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.